This is how my story begins. My Uncle Ben and Aunt May raised me like a son. They never had much money, though. I thought my powers could help make up for that. The last time I saw Uncle Ben alive, we argued. I took out my frustration in the rain. Poor Bonesaw never even saw me coming. No more Mr. Nice Guy! The fight promoter cheated me. So I didn't think it was my problem when he got robbed. Somebody! Stop him! 12 Henry, call back on that 187 in connection with the carjacking at the 42nd Street Library. 10-4, suspect is believed to be a member of the Skulls gang. Proceed with caution. These are the years when a man becomes the man he's going to be for the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. You're feeling this power of becoming a man. And with this great power, comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben. Nothing could ever fill the hole left when he died. Those wounds never really heal. The beautiful redhead is Mary Jane Watson. The guy is Harry Osborne, my best friend. They stuck with me after Uncle Ben died. Harry's dad, Norman, was great too. He even let Harry and me stay in one of the apartments he owned after we graduated and moved into the city. I got a job with the Daily Bugle, taking pictures of... myself. Life sure is strange sometimes. No matter how much you want to hold on to a moment, you can't stop time from moving on. General Slocum has given Oscorp a week to prove that we can develop a working serum. Or we are going to lose the contract to Quest Labs, given how much we have invested in this research. Losing the contract could bankrupt Oscorp. I can only assume that Spider-Man relates to our problem in some way. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Osborne. As that video showed, Spider-Man possesses all the attributes our project hopes to create. We hypothesize that he has augmented spider DNA in his system and feel certain that an analysis of his blood will enable us to complete our serum. We can modify the Hunter Killers to track this DNA signature and capture Spider-Man. Do it. What's going on over here? Who the heck? He sure took off in a hurry. Yikes! Not so fast. Move it! This wall is coming down. <clears throat> uh, we have a problem, sir. Our systems are detecting two distinct targets. Both genetic signatures resemble Spider-Man's. Take a look at this map. As you can see, each target is unique, but both have characteristics of arachnid DNA. We don't have time to dawdle. Have the HKs force both targets into the same area. Once they're together, capturing both subjects shouldn't be a problem. Am I making myself clear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Spiders! Spiders everywhere! Go back to your corporate masters! No! 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 The board can't fire me! I built this company! How dare they! I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. <sighs> we 
aren't getting anywhere. It's time, Doctor. Uh, Mr. Osborne, I didn't hear. Never mind that. We're proceeding with a human trial. Human? I can't possibly condone. Dr. Strom, either prepare the chamber or your resignation. Either way, I'm testing the serum now. Peter had to work. Yeah. I'm just glad you're here. I can't wait for my dad to meet you. Oh, Harry. Whoever this green goblin is, he seems to be working for Oscorp. Murder and corporate sabotage. Harry would be devastated if he found out his dad was involved. I have to get to the bottom of this, and that means an unannounced visit to Oscorp. Spider-Man. Spider-Man?! Well, well, well. What a tangled web we weave. It seems I have a date tonight. Put your heart into those dreams, my lovely girl. The better to bake my time. 